Where is the justice? Where is the law? Where is the righteousness? Where is the constitution? Where is due process? Right? If Luke Despens can succeed in his blatant extortion of Mao school and his threats against the people of New Federative China, then every single American citizen is his next victim. Yes. Because America is the last front on freedom. And when America is lost, the world is lost. And I want to go on to, to, to mention, you know, Mao school had two chances to speak during this entire hour, right? Yeah, he had yeah. two chances. The first opportunity he got to speak, he asked Luke, Luke Despens if he was a CCP agent. Yeah. Luke Despen refused to answer. And the second time, which is and the last time, yeah. Mao was allowed to answer. After Luke has issued his $250 million threats, Mao simply said this. You can either kill me or send me to jail. Otherwise, I will fight till the end. It brings tears into my eyes to know what, what he, Mao Guo and his families has endured, has been through over the past five years, over the past three decades of dedicating their lives to fight against the Chinese Communist Party. This is not the, not the first time that, that Mao has been threatened like this, right? Back all the way in Pangu, the then mayor of Beijing threatened to Miles and his entire family to take away Pangu. And Mao simply told him, he said, you could either jail me you could, or you could kill me. But if you don't do either one of those, I will send you to jail and I will take back Pangu. Mm -hmm. And that's what he did. Yeah. Absolutely. And this time is no different. We, the people of New Federal State of China, will defend our constitutional rights to pursue happiness, to pursue, to defend our liber liberty, and to dis defend our livelihood in this country. We will never give up. Yeah. And uh, the most important thing is that, uh, according to, to the statement that uh, Luke noted that he would have the U.S. court system, the DOJ, IRS, SEC, to not only tear uh, Mr. Mao school apart and destroy the NFSC and Chinese whistleblower movement, this immediately reminds me of the Chinese Exclusion Act. That's a disgrace uh, in American history that for the first time, America has a racially discriminating act to exclude the Chinese people, to deny the basic you know, rights to the Chinese people. And now they're targeting not only Mr. Mao school, but also NFSC and Chinese whistleblowers. I mean, there are a minimum of 500 million members of the Chinese whistleblower movement, and we all happen to be Chinese. So if this happens, this will be the largest racial discrimination against the people in American history ever. This is the largest discrimination uh, scandal in the history of this country. Luke Despens and Paul Hastings and Mel O'Melveny, these law firms, these collaborators of the Chinese Communist Party have no respect for the rule of law, have no respect for due process, and has declared war on Asian Americans and Chinese citizens in America and across the globe. This is a direct challenge to the U.S. Constitution, a direct challenge to the U U.S. rule of law. And if he succeeds, then you and me and our children for generations will suffer the consequences of our inability to stand up to their challenges.